which means he trying to tell you something. She do some plot and we don't doubt. She already knows your needs. My brothers, be still. My soldiers, be still. My people, come on. This is DJ Triple Threat, and you are watching The Green Room. Hey guys, what's going on? You're watching The Green Room Season 3. I'm your host, Alvin Lewis. I'm also on break right now, doing some recording and everything, getting her, her album ready and all that. So, I'm going to take you guys to the 2009 Rap Fest. We're going to be seeing artists from New York, Boston, California, Florida, and many more. We're going to catch up with them as they, do, as, as they go ahead and perform, minister, and do their stuff. Also, we got some new videos for you. I just want to thank Genesis Revelations for the support. Keep it locked. Don't go nowhere. We got a lot coming your way. Citizens of Zion, the Lord is calling, calling you to freedom from your addictions today.
What's up? It's your boy Jafia Life. Straight out of Philly, man. Straight like that. <laughs> the show is good, you know what I'm saying? I'm enjoying the show. Um, I haven't been to Rap Fest in a long time, you know what I mean? I've been on hiatus for a while, just getting my mind right. Um, but it's cool, you know what I mean? My man Believe in Steven is up there right now. Um, K-Drama just, just bodied it, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm waiting for Thizzle to go on. Uh, Humble Tip did his thing, you know what I mean? A lot of people I wanted to see. Um, I'm not performing, I'm just here to just support and just fellowship, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's, it's love, it's all love. I got started in music um, early on in, in, in like the early, like mid 90s, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't even rap, like I couldn't, I didn't know, I, I, I didn't think I could rap, you know what I'm saying? Like my, my boys kind of forced me into it, you know what I mean? And um, kind of, kind of, when, when I did it, it was kind of like, you all right, you know what I mean? You, you all right, so I just kept at it. It was like a, like a form of, form of therapy for me, you know what I mean? And with everything I was going through at the time, it was like my just my release therapy, you know what I mean? And I just kept at it. And then when God, when 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 I rededicated my life to Christ in '97, um, after that, it's just been you know a whole different thing, a whole different spell. Like just been, just been, just just been trying to paint a picture of the things that I'm, I'm as Christians we running away from. With the, the things that we're supposed to be running away from, you know what I'm saying, and um, the lifestyle that I, that I ran away from and I left, you know what I'm saying, and the new lifestyle that I lived through him, you know what I mean, so, um, but now, you know, just, just, just working on new stuff and, you know, just trying to keep it moving and add on and just co-labor and stuff like that, you know what I mean. Yeah, I have I have three albums out. Um, my first project was called Pages of Life. Uh, my second one was Hell's Diary, the Healing LP. Um, my third was Fountain of Life, and um, all three of those, which are which are all all online. My whole catalog is on iTunes, um, Rhapsody, Napster, E Music, um, Holy Culture uh, Radio. You know what I mean? On that on that download site. Um, so yeah, so right now I'm working on I'm working on Westside Pharmacy, which is my fourth full length, and um, you know that should be out soon. I got a couple. I'm indie now. I'm not with Beatmart anymore. I still bang with Todd. Todd actually sent me some tracks for the album. Um, I'm indie now, but I do have like a few deals on the table. Some people that been been, been real interested in been interested in actually the people who've been reaching out to me. But um, we just trying to see where we are gonna go. We sifting through. Me and my management trying to see what we are gonna do. If we gonna stay indie and just do the distro thing, or we gonna just do an artist situation again. So it's, it should be real interesting. Yeah. In the next five years, I really plan to take the ministry um, aspect of Arms Out, which is, you know, my my imprint. You know what I'm saying? Um, just just really just expand on the ministry side. Not just the, the record the record side and making making albums, just really going out into to the community and really lending and lending a hand and you know um, just being 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 a, a person where people can you know they can they can bring our ministry in for different things and we can partner up partner up with different churches and you know that's what we already doing right now with some different people around the country. So um, you know just going out just just doing urban missions, man, and just. Just really taking it to another level, and you know, trying to usher in some new artists that that, that I'm that I'm taking under my wing, and you know, this this really coming with some some interesting stuff, and they really got a heart for God and got a heart for people. So in the next five years, man, it should be it should be a, a lot going on. You know what I'm saying with the with the ministry and and the, and the record label. So we'll we'll see what it look like. You know what I mean? Keep it locked. Don't go anywhere. Season 3, The Green Room, Rap Fest 2009. Got a lot coming your way. <laughs>